Hey y'all, welcome to our June monthly plan with me. This week we are using the Scribble Prints Co. Kit that I bought. This is just a, it is a undated one. I just really loved it because I really loved this guy. He was so cute to me. And I think I really loved this whole thing. So let me get some pictures taken and then we will get into laying down the base. And then after that, Future Crystal will pick up and talk you guys through the month. Sometimes what you want ain't what you need. Sometimes letting go can make your heart bleed Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night yeah. Have some faith in yourself That's the guiding light You should know that One door closes, another swings open, that's life And not to dwell upon The darkest hour, they say, is just before dawn I'm also excited to be back because I'm finally filming I have been so busy and I made sure that I was caught up and I had videos posted for the future so that I could take, you know, the past couple of weeks around spending it with my family. That's, I have like three weekly plan with me's to do and I need to get June wrapped up. I mean, I'm, we're almost at the end of July and I've not even filmed one single weekly plan with me. That is where I'm at right now, but that's okay. I've been enjoying spending it with my husband and my kids and doing family stuff and I'm glad that I did backlog so many, oops, I'm glad I did backlog so many memory, uh, so many videos so that we could because this channel is not supposed to be a job it's just supposed to be like a fun little hobby and so that is exactly what it is and that's what I love about it but anyway this out we're gonna get to plan in this month we all know how I do it we all know how I do it I like to just kind of put my memories on the page I'm gonna use this pen this week I think the ink's really pretty and I think it might be the last chance I really have to use it because it's more of a quarterly summer color so that's what we're gonna do with that um let's start with the first on the first of June I have I was tired I was tired AF it's the busiest season for us at work right now and the government is trying to tie up all of their money so we have a lot of projects coming and going and that was that was crazy which is funny because then the next one says worst day at work ever <laughs> so i have i got that little angry sticker oh i love her she's so cute i need to get some more of those and i can't even remember who those came from who did those come from i need to look i really think she's adorable um, okay, on the third, my dad and Lee came over, and my dad has a, uh, a commercial-sized lawnmower, and my yard's pretty big, so he always mows my lawn for me, and we spend time, and I get out there and weed eat. Oops. Um, so I like to use this little lawnmower guy. I think he's cute. Um, and then, had a few things I wanted to mark for the fourth. Um, I wanted to mark that we went to the beach on this day. We had a family day. So, I might need to put this down. And also, on this day, on me. Also on this day, I binged the entire season of Exo Kitty. I'm going to cut this. I just put family time for beach day. I think that's fine. Because I don't think I remember seeing a beach day sticker. So let me mark. I'm going to mark that like that. It's really the only thing I can think of that's not going to drive me insane. I'm going to put family time there. And then when we got back from the beach, um, when we got back from the beach, uh, I started watching... Exo Kitty, and then Ashley came in, and she was watching Exo Kitty with me, and so that was that. Um, then on the sit on the fifth, on the fifth, my sister called me, and I'm gonna use one of these because it's so damn cute. Nope, it is that one. Maybe I'll use. I'll just use this. I'm gonna put this here. 
She's having a girl. I'm going to have a niece. That's exciting. And then on this day, Garrett and I had to have a heart-to-heart -heart on this day, I think. And that's okay. That's the only way. Communication is the only way to fix anything in a relationship. I'm going to put that there. Um, and then on the 7th, what did we do? Oh, on the 7th, I bought NASCAR tickets. What, what? We just put that in the corner because I'm going to put NASCAR tickets and Quaker Street 400. I bought those as a gift for Garrett, and I ended up having the best time. It was amazing. Um, on the 8th, I had a big cleaning day, so I wanted to mark that. I'm going to cut this in half. Um, I have days where I just, when I get home, all I want to do is clean. And I have stickers for that, so I don't need to write that in. And while I'm thinking about that, I am trying to use up all the stickers I've had um, just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, as we get into the ninth on this day, this was the day before Dylan's birthday, so it was kind of a big day. We um, The slip and slide got delivered from the party, and I was not having a good day. I'm going to put, I'm going to put this down here, and then I got this little Pocahontas sticker. I'm trying to use up these Disney stickers, so I'm just going to put that Pocahontas sticker there. To represent a girl, I was in my feelings on the day before her birthday because she was born in the middle of the night. So it's always a like I always get emotional. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that one. Let's see. I wanted to mark a couple of things on the day of her actual birthday and party. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to mark for sure that she was 13, and then I wanted to also mark. Um, I'm gonna use this orange, I think. Oh, that's pretty. I wanted to also mark that. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. -os. Um. I wanted to also mark that this day. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. There we go. That's better. Uh, I wanted to mark that she got her Fender amp. She plays guitar. So for an early birthday present, we got her a Fender. Oh, we got her a uh, bass guitar. But. Um. She didn't have a bass amp, so we got her a Fender amp, and I wanted to mark that. So, she's 13. She's not my baby anymore. We officially have no more um, children in the house, just teenagers, and that's insane to me. I don't know what to do with myself. I think it happened a lot sooner than I expected it to, and, and when you live, you know, eight years, nine years of your life, expecting to always have a child in the house, Garrett and I are to the point where, because of Lakin, and if you've watched any of our other videos, you know who that is, but and Garrett and I are getting to the point, like, what are we going to do? In a few years so that's crazy um and then i got for the day after her birthday party it literally i had five teenagers sleeping in my living room floor dylan was upstairs uh it was crazy i'm the mark that it was the perfect lazy day with the fam i love that because that's all it was we just sat around and did a bunch of nothing um and on monday which was the 12th i had a self-care day i did not take this day off work but I did go into work with the attitude of, I'm just gonna, I gotta give myself some grace and have an easy day. And so I got this little sticker. This was a sampler from somewhere, but it's like a, a bird watering a plant. And I'm like, I need to water myself. So but let go of a negative self-talk. That's perfect. Um, and then on the 13th, on the 13th, I got this little sampler, same one from the, the girl in the second. I filmed, we did for Garrett's Father's Day gift. Um, he is not a materialistic guy. So you ask him what he wanted. He'd say, I don't want anything. I don't need anything. Um, so we, uh, did, um, <laughs> so we made him a video. I have posted that on the channel. Uh, I have posted that on the channel so you can go and watch that. It was literally just, you know, questions to him and the kids and about being a father and all kinds of fun stuff. A lot about Garrett, but we filmed the, um, we, I filmed the, uh, I can get my thoughts together. I filmed the interviews with the kids that day and the interviews with Garrett. And I don't think, I normally don't keep backup footage, but I will probably, I will never delete that. <laughs> it was so funny. It was hilarious. And I loved it. And you should go watch that video. It's in a vlog form is how we uploaded it. But I, I just absolutely had a good time with that. The next day on the 14th, um, Oh, that's for the 15th. The 14th was, um, we had big storms. Yeah. The 14th was the two tornadoes and big storms all night. Like, that was insane. And I got this little sticker to mark the, the sky. And then I'll just put two tornadoes there. Um, well, that was the day that Dylan and I went to eat lunch together. And we were in McDonald's. And the two tornado signs, the tornado signs went off. It was, like, right next to us. It was crazy. On the 15th, Garrett and I had a brunchy brunch. And... On the 
on the 16th because I was posting it early and I'm going to, um, there we go. And then on the 17th and he loved it. He cried. He's a crier. He'll tell you on the 17th. I played a lot of video games. I didn't really do much of anything on that day. So I'm just going to put her there. Um, and what day are we on? We're on the 18th. We're flying by this plane with me, aren't we? I'm trying to get it in line. Okay. Let me go into the papers there. Okay, perfect. Um, on the 18th, the 18th was Father's Day, and we still had a bunch of dang, dang storms. They just were not going anywhere. I'm just going to mark this guy, this little bunny rabbit sampler guy I had in my sticker book. Cause I don't know where it came from, who it came from. It's cute, and it looks like Garrett and Betty form. So, mark Father's Day with that on... Yeah, and I'll just put that it was big storms on this day, too. On the 19th, we binged Heartbreak High. So, I'm going to use this to put that there. Okay. I actually wonder if... Will this look cute under one of these? Ooh, I bet that would. I think that's what I'm going to use. We're going to need to put this down. I'm trying to get a little cutie cutie with all these stickers. I hate wasting all these stickers, and I never use them. But I like the pattern. So, I wonder if... I can layer. Look at that. I laid a little bit. It's alright. Not perfect. It's okay. Um, and then on the, what day are we on? We're on the 20th. On the 20th, the roads flooded. It was ridiculous. The roads were blocked. It flooded. I'm going to put this here to just type in. Roads flooded. I did not think I was going to be able to get home. Like, the main highway home was flooded. It was insane. And the, <laughs> the next day, I just made a note that I binged all of Sleeper Dude's channel. Uh, I talk about him in a weekly plan with me, and I'll talk about him again because I just love watching his channel. First off, he fixes cars. Second off, they are Southern like Garrett and I, and Garrett and I will watch him and be like, we sound just like that. And we don't think we do. And it's so funny because we are so easy to make fun of ourselves. We don't get offended. We don't get upset. Garrett and I can very much handle jokes, especially at our own expense. So I feel like they're the same vibe as us. And I just love, I like watching him fix cars in general, but I just really, I enjoy the aspect. <laughs> his wife sounds just like me. Like, Four or five words sound like one word put together when we talk. It's crazy. And I'm using the little camper because he has uh, more than a few, excuse me, he has more than a few videos where he is fixing up some old campers. And we're not talking about he buys, you know, kind of decent cars that are older and fixes them up. We're talking he buys junkyard cars. And I just, I love it. I love it. Um, and then on this day, Ash's car broke down. And we are going to use this thing here, I think. No. Let's use this yellow one. I like this yellow one. We're going to use this here. This was the day that her car broke down and we could not figure out what was wrong with it. And then, then we took it to the, the shop because it had already just come out of the shop. I think. I don't remember. Her car is broken down so much that, I don't know. Um, on the 23rd, we had a family day. So I will use this guy here. I don't really care. And I'm just going to just put this. I don't really have anything else that I wrote there. So I just wrote family day. Um, and then on the 24th, we had a pool day at Nene's, so I am using, I got this old, uh, this old swimsuit from, this was the, uh, this was, um, I can't remember the name of this stuff. Anyway, it was a part of a kit that I used, and I'm just going to use it here. We had on that day, um, went to, uh, Garrett's sister-in-law, her mother's house. We call her Nene. She's like a grandmother. We love her to death, but, um, went to her house. She has a pool, and she's so kind enough to always let us come and hang out and invite us over so I'm thankful for that but we barbecued and we had a pool day and i think that is adorable oh my gosh that's probably one of my new favorite squares okay and then the day after which was 25th on the sunday we did um i was not feeling good that day i woke up not feeling well and i had what felt like the worst stomach cramps ever so oh, i'm gonna mark that here with this guy i was roasted like, literally roasted, and my stomach was hurting. I could not figure out what was going on. I'm going to put this one here. And this one here on top of it. And I'm going to use... It was my period. My period started it all. And I have this funny little guy. <laughs> um, I don't even know where he came from. I have no idea. Can you see him? Uh, you know, there we go. Can you see him? Uh, but he looks like he's just so sunburned. And that is how I felt that day. So, I wanted to put him here. He's right here next to this dude, but that's okay. I'll just put him there. It's just to, to show that I felt like a clown walking around with my sunburn. I don't burn very often, but when I do, it sure is painful. Um, 
And then on the 27th, um, I snuggled with Dylan after work that day and we watched School Spirit. So I am going to put that there. We are going to put this up here for Mommy and Me time. It really is. A, it's the last box sticker I have. And I bought that when the kids were younger, younger. Um, but it's the last one I have. And I'm just going to go ahead and use it up. I loved those, though. I would probably be getting rid of the rest of them. Um, on the 28th, I have that. I, played, I just played a lot of Animal Crossing on that day, which makes sense. When I really don't have a lot to do at home, I will just play video games. So, I need to get some more, um, like, stickers and stuff. Like, I have Animal Crossing stickers because I was obsessed for the longest time. But um, on the 29th... I have that we were at the ER with Dylan. Mm -hmm. Dylan was in the ER. She had an abscess, so I just got a little... He's actually an anxiety squidge from Stick with the Plango, but that's kind of how she was feeling. She doesn't do well with pain and, and, and hospitals and stuff like that, so it fits. Um, and then I have this sticker to mark that my kiddo decided to go to Atlanta without me. She really did. Which, not really without me. We were intending to go. We were gonna go, but then, um, we were gonna go, and then I had a last-minute change of heart. I did not want to go. Uh, I was exhausted. I had a lot to do, because this was the weekend of, this was the weekend of our family reunion, and we had initially planned to go, but then I changed my mind, because the weekend following that is the weekend we went to, um, the Quaker State 400 in Atlanta, and so I didn't want to take two trips on the car, and I don't, I had to make decisions, and so I made a decision. Dylan went with my, um, parents, with my mom and my stepdad, so... She had a really fun time seeing everybody and going up to Atlanta, and she came home with a bunch of stickers, and I'm going to move this guy over because I'm going to move him over. Right here, I'm going to put that. Garrett and I had a date night. Um, none of the kids were in the house, so we just decided to stay in. We, or we just decided to go out. We went in a, at a place called, um, this was the night that we went to, one of the towns close to us did like a little town 4th of July thing, and then after that, we went and ate at a place called Dee's Road House or something like that in um, a town that's about uh, an hour away from us. So we went and ate there, and it was probably the best food we've ever had. We're looking forward to going back. But that is it. I'm going to write everything in real quick, and then I will be right back. You might take a fall, but you can bounce right back. Mm. Go to town. Dressed up like a heart attack Cause you know that When your dreams have Hit the ceiling and fallen back down on the ground Let me tell you I know the feeling I used to live in that town Another swings open, that's life And let it dwell upon The darkest hour, they say It's just before dawn Yeah The darkest hour they say is just before dawn. Just be all right, y'all, and that is it. Let me show you real quick what we have left. Um, I have these left. I have this one left that I'd already showed you in the beginning. We have these left, and I have this stuff left. And let me tell you, this was a pain in my butt. I messed up so much. First off, I thought that Quaker State was spelled qu Quacker, so I messed that up. And then I misspelled tickets, and I messed with it so much that at some point I'm just like, it's just going to have to be. And I think after that, I got very, you know, whatever about the rest of this side, because this side was pretty easy. Um, and then you can see where I just get, I don't know. I don't know, but sometimes I just have to learn to let go of my 
of my OCD sometimes. But anyway, um, there are a couple of days that stand out to me. Uh, I really, I enjoyed pool day with the family, but I always enjoy a pool day with the family. Um, Dylan's birthday weekend was so fun. The day before her party was really, like, time flies. You blink and your kids are grown. How is, how is that possible? I can't believe it's been 13 years since I was almost 42 weeks pregnant. And they're like, we're going to have to induce you. And I sat in the hospital for a week waiting for her to be born. It is insane. It's so insane. Um, another day that stands out is all of the, the tornadoes and the weather, like, this was just a, I think this was a really great month overall. Weather aside, I just, and Ashlyn's car and, you know, dealing with her, her medical issue uh, that she had. She's fine now, by the way. She's fine. But, um, it, it was just a really great month. Like, this is just, this was a great month. So, I guess that's it, y'all. I have, I have a few vlogs that I need to film and edit. I have, or not film. I have a few vlogs that I need to, um, I need to edit and I have, <sighs> three more plan with me's. You'll see back here that I still have this to do and this one to do. And this is the current week, which sneak peek at the July monthly kit I was waiting on. And then that one's the current week we're in. But anyway, I have a lot I have to do. So we're going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed the monthly. As, I hope you enjoy these monthlies as much as I do. These are really probably my favorite things that I do. I mean, I love keeping my memories in general, but I, I just really love having these monthlies to look back on. So that's it. We're going to wrap it up. I'm going to stop gabbing now and we will see you in the next video. Bye y'all. Just before dawn